Last night's ball game produced a friends and family type attendance number. We'll see what today's brings. Most of them fans of the Blue Jays so far, as you can see, as this series comes to an end. And here is the lineup for the Blue Jays today. George Springer is going to get the day off. So your leadoff man playing right field is Kevin Biggio. That puts Tapia in center, Guriel in left field. Bo Bichette batting second, riding a 10-game hit streak right now. And uh, Guriel's got an eight-game run, so the Blue Jays are going to need all the hits that they can get. And maybe they'll get some against James Caprillion, who starts for the Athletics, an ERA at around five and a half. Not exactly an effective major league pitcher, Ben, but these are the kind of guys it seems the Blue Jays struggle against. Oh, yeah, we saw that with Cole Irvin just the other day. So they really do need to find a way to get some results here. He is not someone who strikes out a lot of hitters. He is not someone who throws particularly hard. He's also not someone that the Blue Jays have seen, with the exception of Rymel Tapia, who's faced him only a few times. So this team will have to find a way to adjust to him get to know his stuff a little bit better. That might take them one time through the order, but second time through the order, when they're facing Caprillion, he is someone that they really should be able, as you can see right there, the increase in numbers. Uh, as hitters get a bit more familiar with his stuff, this Blue Jays lineup remains one of the elite lineups in Major League Baseball. So as they move through that second time through the order, maybe even earlier, but hopefully by that second time through for the Blue Jays, they are crushing James Caprillion. I would say certainly even earlier, because I think I could tell you what the approach is. You mentioned Kohler. Irvin, that is the model. Fastballs up, sliders away. That's the same thing Caprillion's going to try to do here today. He's going to try to use that ballpark, use the outfield, get fly balls. That's what Cole Irvin did against the Blue Jays over eight innings. 17 fly balls in that outing. I bet you Caprillion comes out and tries to do the same thing. He knows he's not striking anybody out. He's got one of the lowest strikeout rates in baseball. So I think he's going to try to get the Blue Jays swinging under his heaters as they did against Irvin. So the Blue Jays need to be locked in on that approach they can't chase the sliders off the plate they need to get fastballs in the zone they can square up and they need to have line drive swings and getting good contact off of Cabrillion I just don't think they can sit around and wait for that second trip through Oakland's lineup is presented by bet 365 veteran Tony Kemp leads it off plays and left Loriano's the DH Brown Piscotti and vote the three four and five Andrews the veteran at short Machine made a tremendous defensive play in game one of this series. Sky Bolt in center and Allen led off last night. He'll be batting ninth and playing second base today. That's the lineup presented by Bet365. Off we go to the guys at SN Bets. Thank you, Jamie, Mike Mohorovich, and Kevin Mickey at the SM Bets Big Board, presented by Bet365. When this series started, it was hard to imagine a scenario where the Athletics would be in a position to sweep, considering the season they've had. But that's exactly the situation Jose Brios and the Blue Jays find themselves in this afternoon. Yeah, it's been tough for Toronto lately, having lost the last five games. But that's not stopping the market from favoring the Jays at minus 200 on the money line. They've been favorites every game this series. A lot of value on the A's again today, going off at plus 170, going up against Barrios, who has been struggling as of late. ERA over 12 in his last three starts. Baltimore has the brooms out as well. They can sweep the Rangers today. They've put up 17 runs in the first two games of the series. Rangers starter Glenn Otto probably circled this as a good start to get back on track, but now the Orioles offense has dominated in the first two games. He's thrown just six innings over his last two starts, giving up 10 earned runs. His ERA is up to 563. Glenn Otto, take him to the Matthews Bridge. Now, I want to watch Shohei Otani hit bombs and throw gas. Otani on the bump for L.A. today against Miami with the Angels having lost four straight. Their last win, well, it came when Otani was on the mound. Shohei has just four ding-dongs in 33 career games when he's pitched and hits, along with 15 ribeyes. In his last four starts, the Halos, they've been leading after five innings. Angels, minus 120 on the three-way the lead after five today. Colorado has called up Jose Ureña to make his Rockies debut after five starts at AAA Albuquerque, where he pitched to a 7.78 ERA over 21 innings. Freddie Freeman and Ureña, they know each other well. They have 31 plate appearances. Freeman has gotten the better of those battles, a 419 batting average, four home runs, and a 1,000 slugging percentage. So Barrios and the Jays, they're trying to turn things around. Barrios has a career ERA over five and three starts in Oakland, by the way. Uh, but what better place to turn all that around than the Oakland Coliseum? Ah, O.co in July. Where would you rather be? Jamie? Gentlemen, what a busy day where the Global Jam is concerned. And 
The Canadian team have two games today that you can see on Sportsnet and Sportsnet 1, beginning with the women at 6 Eastern. Later in the evening, 9 Eastern time, it's the men. We've got a couple of baseball games as well. The Pirates upsetting the Yankees yesterday. They're on Sportsnet 360 tonight. And that game mentioned, the Rockies and the Dodgers, comes your way on 360 later this evening. We're focused on the Blue Jays, who have lost five consecutive games. Jose Barrios wants to put an end to that. We'll see what he can do against the A's today. We'll continue on Blue Jays Central.